Breaking Bad Season 2 episode number 13. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to the Season 2 finale of Breaking Bad. Last week, man, the way we ended the episode, Jane, Walt, Jesse, I don't know how the aftermath of this is going to be, but man, do I feel bad for Jesse, you know, like, I, it's a shitty situation, you know, because you have Jane, who was good, she was fine, Jesse kind of got her back into doing all this stuff, and then she got him into doing some worse stuff, but he actually cared about her, and it seemed like she cared about him, and you know, Jesse, he's not close to too many people in life, he has his issues with his family, him and Walt, you know, they've gotten closer, kind of, but like, it's still not the same, you know, like, Walt, and Jesse, their relationship is different than kind of, you know, him actually caring about somebody, somebody caring about him. I know Walt does care about him, which was kind of partly why he chose to do what he did at the end of the last episode, just letting her die and not turning her over. Also partly because, you know, she knew everything about him and that kind of solves that problem for him. But it's just like, man, I I, I just, Jesse is going to go into a spiral, I feel like, man. And things, it, it, okay, it, it could be one of either two things. He's either going to go into a spiral and it's going to be worse or this is going to be a huge, huge, huge wake up call for him and it's going to make him stop using. I hope it's the latter, but I I don't know, man. I really don't know what's going to happen this episode. Like I said, it is the finale of season two. Season two has been nothing short of absolutely fantastic, man. We got the baby. She is born. Skylar's going back to work soon. I don't know, man. I'm a little bit nervous, but as always, I am super excited for this. So guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below to you guys when you see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Oh, also, we do have all the flashbacks we've been having with the with with the teddy bear. I wonder if we're going to have the conclusion of that this episode and find out what actually happened with it. Because my whole thing was I think they were going to build up to the finale and then we were going to finally see. But if we don't see this episode, I'm going to be a little bit surprised. Yeah, I think this was the very first one we've seen way back on like episode one or early on in the season. Because we've seen a ton of these flashbacks or flash forwards or whatever they are. This is making me nervous, bro. Especially with the music, the music's so ominous. This music wasn't like this before, no? In the, in the small flashbacks we were seeing, just the little clips? It'd be some shit if this whole time it's really been nothing and they're just this huge build up for this and then it ends up not being something big. But like, there's two bodies in there, no? His car's all destroyed. Oh, dude, I wonder if Jesse ended up doing something because of what happened with Jane, but there's really no connection to Walt there, right? He couldn't have known Walt was there. Was that smoke? Is there a fire? That's way back there though, no? That's not in his backyard specifically, that's... This is all like at his house though. So it's not like it's something that could have happened around. I mean, maybe it happened close to him and then he came back to the house or something because his car is destroyed. Oh, I'm nervous, man. Now, like I like seeing the flashbacks before, it made me think throughout the episode, I want to know what happened, I want to know what happened. Now I really want to know, bro. My mind is like locked onto that. Like, Jesus. Oh, Jesse. Bro, she's been out for a minute. Her body's probably already cold. Dude, her body's probably already cold, man. She's been out for a while. It's morning now. Dude, not only that, but what does Jesse do now, too? He could end up going to jail. Like, I know he didn't kill her, but, like, they were using and all that shit, and she ended up dying there. Like, what what, what does he do from here? And, like, her dad owns the place. Like, what what, what, what does he do? And he, her dad knows that he has a connection to her. So it's not like Jesse can just disappear or, like, go hide her body. Like, bro, what does Jesse do? S slow down. Slow, slow down. Uh, he was probably waiting for Jesse to call. Just, just take a deep breath. Do it. Right. Now what happened? He was probably waiting for him to call because he knew he would. He wants to be there for him, but like he already knew all this shit. Everything is gonna be okay. I promise. No, no. Li listen, calm down. Sit tight. I know who to call. He's gonna call Saul. 
Maybe Saul has some people that can clean this up and cover it up. The thing is, Walt wants to be there for Jesse, you know? He does. Like, like he, he called him his nephew last episode and shit. Uh, oh, shit. Is this the guy that went to jail for them? Is he already out? Is this that same guy? Maybe that's not him. It just looks similar. Get rid of all the evidence. What are they going to do? Try and make it look like somebody broke in and stole? Or broke in and killed her? Any other drugs in the house? Think hard. Your freedom depends on it. Here's your story. You woke up. You found her. That's all you know. Say it. Say it, please. I woke up. I found her. That's all I know. And then what? Saul's going to represent him if he ends up goes to court. And then what? They're going to call the cops. Have them come. Take her. Once you call it in, the people who show up will be with the Office of Medical Investigations. That's primarily who you'll talk to. There's nothing here to incriminate you, so I'd be amazed if you got placed under arrest. However, if you do, you say nothing. You tell them you just want your lawyer, and you call Saul Goodman. I mean, he's doing what he has to do to protect himself and to do what he can to take care of Jane, right? But this is fucked, man. What is he doing? Is he taking all that money to Saul and then Jesse will get it later? I mean, I'm assuming Jesse has to pay a pretty penny for this too, but that's a lot of cash. 400 son K, right? I mean, this is fucked, but at least Jesse won't, won't end up in jail or nothing, hopefully. Saul really has been a, a, an ace to the show, so to speak, you know? He's, he's been an important part of the team. Like, my God. Oh my God, Mom, Dad, come here, you gotta see this. Seriously. Did Walt go through with the donations? Look, look right He's there. He's having him donate. Look, look at that. He had Saul do it. Are those donations? <laughs> yes. Actual donations for your dad? <laughs> Total strangers. 490 is what it's at right now. Don't you think a little thank you is in order? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, son. Thank you. This is a big, big help. <laughs> Walt, he still wants to be the one to, he wants to be the breadwinner, breadwinner, man. He wants the gratitude for it, you know, the respect, so to speak, for it. I'm on my way. I'm going to be there momentarily. I expect you on the porch, bag packed, ready to go. No excuses. Dude, I feel bad for her dad, too. He's probably going to be thinking, man, if I would have just, you know, had the cops come or if I would have just fucking, if I would have just taken her to rehab. Wow, he pulled up right now. <sighs> they haven't even brought her body out. Man, this is just, this is so, this is bad, man. And he's got to see her too, man. Seeing his daughter put in a body bag, man. If you'd like to meet us there, we can complete the intake and take our samples, and then you can make your arrangements. Okay? Now, do you need a card? Will you both be coming? This show is so realistic. You know, it really makes you feel all the emotions, dude. I'm having chills down my legs. Our friend says he thinks everything went well. Uh, that's, that's good. So, listen, just call me, all right? The doctor's saying this operation has a real chance of helping them. Of course, they're also saying they want to be paid in private islands, so dig deep. Biggest donation, get a six pack of my very own Schrader Brow. Christian Ortega, AKA Combo. Shot mm. dead by an unknown assailant last month. Combo? Look at everybody. you say? Why, I'm unfamiliar with that name. He never showed up on our radar. So why am I talking about him? Yeah, the blue meth. Look, you got Crazy 8 up there, Tuco, everyone. We got reports of the blue stuff. Making the scene here in Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada. Wow. In fact, everywhere but here. Yep, they moved it out of town when he sold everything to, Ed, uh, to Gus. I say Heisenberg's still out there. I say he's going regional. Only he's still right here in town. Hank is smart as fuck, man. Dude, that's, it's fucked up. He's, he's doing the donation thing for Walt. It's good on his part, but it's fucked up because Walt is the one that's Heisenberg and they're donating money to him and everything. Like, wow. All right, listen. No, no, I don't care. You have your guy. I, Saul, just shut, Saul, Saul, shut up and give me the address. Walt's gonna go pick up Jesse, man. Walt really does care about Jesse. It's sad, everything that's happened. 
How about you go on home, Walter? Let me handle this. Walt needs to be the one to do it for Jesse, man. He, he needs to be there for Jesse now more than ever, you know? I mean, Jesse probably can't go back to his place, you know, with her of di with Jane dying there. <laughs> yeah, it's that crack house shit, man. I wonder if Jesse's here on some heroin or what he's doing, if he's just here to get high or what. Like I said, I mean, it's probably hard for him to be in his house. You know, we're gonna walk out of here, okay? We're gonna take you someplace nice and safe. That's it, that's it, now let's go. Come on, here we go. He's crying. <laughs> I killed her. What? I killed her and it was me. I no. got her back up. No, Jesse, look at me. He blames himself. I mean, yeah, because he got her back into it and stuff. Like I said, he really cared for her. He, he's got attachment issues, you know, and he got attached to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Walt's here for him though, man, you know? Like Walt actually cares for him and he's not just leaving him out to dry. I, 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 I'm glad Walt's gonna be there for him. It seems like, you know, things will be a little different. I feel awful for her dad too, man. He, he, like, he has good intentions getting her clean and he, he helped her get clean for a long time and then Jesse came into her life. I haven't given much thought to the programs, to be honest. I guess they should be, uh, I don't know, just just use your best judgment. Was he running the programs? Oh, to the programs? I thought he was talking about the, the group she was going to. He's probably talking about some other stuff. Okay, sweetie. Yes. All that money's still getting donated. I wonder what they're at now. Yes. Just like a reminder to him every time. I mean, he's the one donating it, but he's not getting no credit for it, and that's what he wants. He wants all the credit. The dinging. Just turn down the volume. Th that, it, it's money. Just please do it. The noise is disturbing the baby. It's because every time he hears that ding, it's like a reminder to him. But also for Junior, it's like he thinks he's, he's the one doing all this. I mean, he made the website and stuff, but shit. He went to his editor, and they're going to do a story about you. For real? Yep, they're coming to interview you with a photo mm. and everything. Awesome. <laughs> he's getting all the credit for it and he's getting publicity. Let me guess, I'm not talking. <sighs> nope, I don't want. This is what happened when he moved everything out to Gus. Gus is moving it all around except for where it's located, where he's getting it from, huh? Paul Conturna of Conturna Real Estate. Hey, it's a pleasure. Good to meet you, huh? And Hotel and Gustavo Fring. Of Los Pollos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. What? Hey, Gus? Gotta Gus? Tell you, you guys make some killer chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. These gentlemen what are on the heck? Heck? this year's fun run, and I thought I would give them a tour. Oh my God. This is one of your agents? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, that's it's my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's got a health issue. We're we're trying to. Oh, I'm I'm very sorry. What what sort of health issue? Lung cancer. Oh, that, that's a rough one. Oh, hey, 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 you don't, you don't have to do that. Please, please, I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Wow, man, he see, he just found out Hank is Walt's brother-in-law, dude. Well, I mean, Walt, is, well, as of right now, they're not planning on cooking, so they don't need to sell anymore. But damn, dude, Gus, right there. Just so you know, I, I won't be back for a while. Gonna have my surgery on Friday. Is this like a rehab place you got him into or what? I deserve this. What you said in the desert. He feels the same way now, what Walt was saying back then. I deserve whatever happens. After everything they've been doing, he feels like this was coming to him. You see all that stuff rubbing off on him. It's crazy, like, I mean, how Jesse's acting is very reasonable, very understandable. You know, he's, he's gonna be fucked up for a while. The one person he cared about and that really cared about him too. I thought we were just talking about a newspaper story. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But I thought, you know, it's good enough for the journal, then why not TV? So mm. I went for it. Even more publicity and he's not getting the, uh, he's not being the one responsible for giving the money. Now it looks more like charity and stuff online and more people are seeing it. You know, it's like everything there's to know about chemistry 
He's oh. patient with you. And he's always there for you. He's he's just decent. He's thinking about all the bad stuff he's done that they don't know about. It's hard for him to hear with everything that he's done, you know. Man, this show is so fantastic. The writing and everything. Put him to sleep. Oh, he's going to surgery right now. We're almost ready. I'll be taking you in in just a minute. I mean, if this surgery goes good, his whole cancer thing could be done. R relax, relax, Jet. As a matter of fact. Wow. Oh, no, dude. Is he going to start talking about the meth in Heisenberg and Jesse? Oh, shit. Where's your phone? Hmm? Your cell phone, did you bring it? Which one? Mm. Yep, that phone shit came back, man. It's been buried for a while and they kind of got over it, but now that's going to be a problem again. Man, I, I thought he was going to say something. I was worried he was going to say something about the meth and stuff. I mean, the phone is the least of the worries, so at least it was just that. I thought he was going to start talking about, I donated all the money. Oh. Man, I hate seeing this stuff, bro. The show, like, it's so good and realistic that it's too good and realistic sometimes. Man, makes my stomach turn. Obviously, I can't foresee the future, but even conservatively speaking, I can say that you bought yourself some real time here. There's no reason not to be optimistic. Make sure you avoid any heavy lifting and continue to get plenty of rest. Um, but he can be on his own. I mean, just more, you know, independent. She wants to go back to work, huh? And since the tension, she wants to go back to work and she's probably gonna start doing that thing where she leaves again without saying anything, huh? After a certain point, time off doesn't help. So I figured I'd rather be here. Yep. Focus on work. Sure. Get your mind off of it. Yeah, sitting at home probably just makes it worse because you're sitting there just thinking about it constantly. What is uh? What does he do exactly? We they they still haven't said right. Pima 311 contact Albuquerque Center 134.6. Juliet five. We're at an airport. I don't say altitude. I'm going to Hank and Marie's for the weekend. Since when? I'm taking the baby with me. Marie will pick up Walter Jr. from school. You'll have the house to yourself for two days. I want you to pack your things and leave. Why would I do that? Hank has offered to help, since you shouldn't be doing any heavy lifting. Skyler. I want you gone by Monday morning. I want your fugue state. I mean, who would lie about such a thing? She knows it was fake. Oh. It really took me forever to get in touch with her. She was ducking my calls for weeks. Damn. Did she also say she never paid? Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. They paid for nothing. We're nearly paid up. Over $100,000. Out of where? Out of thin air? And she, he never went that weekend that he said he did. Fuck, man, this some shit. What do we do here? Stay, is he and gonna, I will tell you everything. Is he gonna tell her? Whatever it is, I'm afraid to know. Damn, yeah. You probably don't wanna know. I mean, it'd be one thing, like cooking meth is already bad enough, but then he'd have to tell her about the people he's killed too. Burning Emilio in acid, letting Jane die. Damn, dude, this is some shit. What is he gonna do? Is he just gonna end up leaving then for real? I mean, what choice does he have? You know, it's that's the thing, man. He did all this for his family and here we are, like shit. Ah, oh, man. Sierra Alpha, Alpha contact Albuquerque Center, one three. You're gonna pass out six. or have a breakdown. Contact Albuquerque Center, one three four point six. Wayfair, five one five, descend to one. Oh, is he gonna have he's two people are are crashing uh he's gonna cause two to crash 
Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have went back so soon. Doing doing something like that, you got to make sure your mind is clear. Like, I get not wanting to be at home, but, like, doing something like that, you really got to make sure you're 100% back to normal. There's some jobs you can go back to and still have your mind. Okay, but something like that, you can't. What the hell? Oh, my God. Is this what's happening? Is it? Are we finally going to see what happened? Oh, and this is what happened with the pink bear. This is how the pink bear stuff happens. Wow. He caused the two planes to crash. And then this is how the stuff happens, isn't it? This is Ryan Walt's backyard. And is this how the bear gets in here? Yep. I mean, this is still awful. Two planes crashing, but at least it was this and not, you know, something. Something worse, man. I had no idea what it could have been. I thought, like, Walt. Damn it, that's what we're ending this shit to. Fuck, man. These episodes, bro, they really get you and then they just take it all away so quick. Baking Bad Season 2 Episode 13 is in the books. The Season 2 finale is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute insane finale, man. So much stuff, so much stress. <sighs> Let's start with Jesse, man. Jesse, I just, I hope this is... I hope once he gets through the grief, I hope this is a new leaf turning for him, man. You know, I, I, I really do. I hope he stops using. I hope maybe he gets out of the game. Because, you know, he starts doing some honest work. He's got a, he's got a lot of money. He can invest. He can he has a lot of different options he can do. Houses were a lot cheaper back then. You know, like invest in some rental properties or something. Do, do, get some honest work going, man, and take a step out of that game. And, you know, take time to heal and eventually find somebody else and create a life for yourself man you know maybe with uh with walt getting kicked out and obviously it seems like him and skylar are having a, a divorce uh maybe they'll end up staying together or something along those lines i'm not 100 percent sure but man everything finally came out you know she finally found out everything that walt's been lying she doesn't know about what but she knows he's been paying it himself she knows that he didn't go to his mom's and she knows about the two phones, man. Once he got the stuff to relax and he started talking a bit, I thought he was going to mention something about the meth or about him being Heisenberg <clears throat> or about the donations, say like he was the one doing it or something. But the two phones, man, that did it. You know, that was an issue before and it kind of faded itself out. You know, it did, they didn't ever really talk and fix it. It just kind of faded itself out because everything else kind of took over, you know, and... <sighs> came back and it bit him in the ass man everything finally piled up and came out and now it's at the point where even if he does tell her the truth i think it's too late and even if he does tell her the truth i don't think it's gonna make a difference because back in season one she said that if you know walt was stealing and shit like marie was she wouldn't she would have ratted on him and that he, he, he shouldn't have been doing it and he's doing something way worse he's killed people how many people has he killed he killed crazy eight he killed Emilio. He burned their bodies in acid. He didn't kill Jane, but, you know, he didn't save her either. Um, didn't kill Tuco necessarily, but did fuck him up. Sold a ton of meth, which has in turn probably killed some people. I mean, he's done a lot of fucked up shit, man. Like, she would definitely snitch on him, man. She would. Not only that, but Gus meeting Hank was absolutely insane and then him also finding out that walter and hank are brother-in-laws oh my god now luckily hey uh walt sold off all his meth already i hope he's not planning to cook more he's got his money and stuff so he shouldn't need to do no more deals with uh gus but you know gus isn't gonna want to if he does because Having a brother as a DEA agent, you know how careful Gus is and stuff, man. I don't know, dude. But seeing Gus meet Hank was absolutely insane. I didn't expect that. And the, the, the camera work was so good because, you know, as the people were coming into the office, they showed the three guys, but they didn't show Gus until they came around the corner. And then you could see him and it was like, oh, shit, he's here, huh? But I guess they're just, uh, you know, contributors don donating money to help the, help the department and whatnot. But, man... I don't know what's going to be next for the story, man, is, are they going to be done, done? You know, Walt's just going to, they're going to be divorced and Walt's maybe going to help from the outside. And then he's going to end up going back to being Heisenberg more because he's away from them completely at this point. Or is it going to be him just 
cutting everything off and trying to get back in and try and live an honest life. But I mean, like, I feel like it's just, there's been too much damage caused at this point. You know, I don't know how he's going to fix this or if this is fixable. It might just not be, and they might live their separate lives. He might just help with money. He might help by, you know, spending time with the kids, but that might be it. Him and Skylar might be apart. And then Skylar, obviously, she's going to go find comfort in Ted as she already has been. Probably end up with him. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, man, but damn, dude. And then uh, Walt Jr. getting all the credit for the money and stuff for the website he set up, getting fucking a newspaper article written, which turned into a TV story. And Walt being there and everything like that, you know, he hates the charity stuff and whatnot. Him not getting the credit, even though he's the one providing the money, you know, that hit him deep too. You know, not only is it his family seeing that he's not the one doing it, but the whole world is at this point seeing that his son did this and he's not, you know, getting the credit for it. You know, that, that that's just eating him alive. Every time he heard that little ding, it was like a reminder. But God, dude, what an absolute insane finale. Seeing those two planes come down, finally figuring out what the teddy bear was about and all the flashbacks. <sighs> that's some fucked up shit, man. You know, how many people did he just kill? Did Jane's dad just kill, essentially? It's, it's like a butterfly effect type thing. He really shouldn't have gone back to work, man. Like doing something that crazy, operating heavy machinery machinery and stuff, you got to make sure you're completely good to do something like that, man, you know? But I get him wanting to come back to get his mind off of it, but dude, like doing something that, like that, you, oh, dude, that is crazy. I'm excited to see season three, how we're going to start out, if there's going to be a time jump or anything, but guys... Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, that's if you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? Want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.